what's up guys back with another review and this is one that's been long awaited a card that's been out for a long time but he is a beast nonetheless probably the second or the third best hero overall in the game behind Ginola, Yaya Torre and Lucio other than that Vola is an absolute beast today we're going to review World Cup hero Rudy Vola uh, before we get into it, just a reminder: if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. I drop video, I drop videos weekly, and it really helps out the channel. So, without further ado, let's get into it. World Cup hero Rudy Voller. He's got three-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. Played 38 games, have been scored 30 times, assisted 13 times. Now that those stats are only a bit shoddy because he's he was on the bench for a while. I've put a hunter on him, he can play centre forward as well and this is a Serie A league card. Stats wise, um, the hunter boosts the pace and the shooting, so, but he's got 91 pace, 94 shooting, 78 passing, 90 dribbling and 87 physical. Long passing maybe needs some work. Hero profile, having scored 4 goals in the qualifying stages, Rudy Vola was in the final international, in fine international form heading into the 1990 FIFA World Cup and he kept that up with 3 goals in the op opening 2 group games. In the final against Argentina, Vola played a big part in the only goal of the game when he was brought down inside the box in the last few minutes, providing Andres Breme the opportunity to dispatch the tournament winning penalty. So he's obviously a World Cup winner here. Career wise, three years at kickers, off and back, 79 appearance, 23 goals, 1860 Munchen, 74 appearance, 49 goals. Verde Bremen, 174 appearance, 119 goals, so stats getting better. Uh, before spending 5 years at Roma, 198 appearance, 68 goals, so not the best goal scoring record. Marseille, 73 appearance, 28 goals. Leverkusen, 75 appearance, 31 goals. And Germany, 90 appearance, 47 goals. Traits wise, he's got finish shot, power header and chip shot. Now, I, don't, I didn't really know who this guy was before he was added to the game and Looking at his career, he wasn't the most prolific goal scorer, but god damn, in this game, he is a beast. I don't know what warranted him or FIFA to make him this good. I don't know, I don't know if he was actually this good in real life, but in game, he is so good. As I was saying earlier, probably the fourth best hero in the game. Out of the new releases, obviously Lucio and Torre got added this year. Look at this for a goal, he brings it down on his chest and strokes it in. Let's hope they show that replay. Just look how he's got so much composure just to bring the ball down. To then stroke it into the net, Made it, makes it look easy. But yeah, he picks up the ball, keeper sliding one way, he puts it in the other way. A lot of people know about this card, a lot of people have used this card, people still use it and the best way to evaluate it is that with team of the season out, Vola still holds up. He's better than I've compared him against Harry Kane and he makes Harry Kane look like a gold card. So yeah, if you are, if for whatever reason you haven't tried him or you're thinking about getting him, this is a review for you, but all I can tell you is go and do it. He's an absolute powerhouse of a striker. Here my opponent tries to move the keeper, but Vola still smashes it in. And he's even just a great dynamic image on the card. I really, I really, really do like that whole Marvel superhero concept that they had this year. And Vola's card just looks so good. Here he doesn't get the first header and still somehow he manages to get the goal against the angle. Fantastic player. And in the game I you know he had five attempts and he scored five goals which tells you exactly how good he really is. Here we go, Voller making the run. He's quite similar to Gerd Muller, the icon Gerd Muller. Now the best Gerd Muller card I've used is the Team of the Year version. He's quite similar to that, even though Gerd Muller is a lot more expensive. 
I would say Waller just about edges it. Here we go against. Here he works an angle. It's an impossible angle, but he finds the net. He is too good. Probably the best st hero striker, to be honest. And it's good that this card didn't get any of our upgrades because if he did, it would be scary and it would break the market. It would absolutely break the market if you got an upgrade. Or another upgrade, should I say. So, EA played that one smart. Again, finds the, finds the goal near post. Now, this one's quite a long review simply because it is well overdue and he's just so good. He holds his run just to be onside, picks up the ball before finishing it past the keeper. You have this guy, it's just goals, goals, goals. You can play him up there by himself like I do, or you can play him with a second striker, whatever you prefer, no matter what, goals guaranteed. He, he looks very good in game. Looks like a typical sort of 70s, 80s striker. With the long hair, hair does a nice swivel turn to get away from the defender and finish it from that tight angle. He's got the whole mullet hairstyle thing going on. Here, another great turn away from the defender. Keeper's got a touch to it, but not enough to stop the goal. And right at the depth, he guarantees victory for me, which makes my opponent rage. Now, this is what I love about pacey strikers. A ball over the top, you expect them to beat the defenders, get onto it and score, and that's exactly what he does. This card does have 91 pace, boosted by the Hunter, but he feels a lot faster. Heads it down to control it before smashing it past the keeper. Brilliant goal. Here we go. Again, he loves this angle and he can find the goal from that angle. Really, really good goal. Now he's got a four star weak foot, but from that angle, it seems like it's five star. Here again, ball over the top, gets in front of the defender, brings it down, controls the ball while holding off two defenders with an onrushing key part, and he still finds the net. This guy is clutch. Now there's wind time, look at that angle, just looks even better from that angle brilliant goal he's also got the power header trait so if you hang it up in the air he'll absolutely go and demolish that ball um, like I was saying he's got four star weak foot but it feels like a five star the way he uses that left foot but Rudy Voller only one word to describe him incredible he's been around for a long time Every, you guys already know him you've come up, come up against him you've probably used him as well but if for whatever reason you haven't Go out and spend your money on this card because it is well, well worth it. He was priced around a million point for a very long time, but with the end game approaching, he has come down. He's currently at 259k, so it's a perfect time for you to go pick him up if you haven't. Uh, absolute beast of a card. He's, I don't think he's got a weakness. He's passing on paper. His passing is bad apparently, but I haven't really felt that in game. Rating wise, I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10 because he's an absolute beast. Again, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. And also just to add, it's team of the season, but this card still holds up.